Hello, um, my name's Joe Simpson. I'm a mountaineer, or well, I was, I'm a retired mountaineer, and an author. I'm probably best known for my first book, Touching the Void, which became an award-winning book, and then there was a film made of it in 2003, it became a BAFTA-winning film. Um, I've written seven books, presently working on my eighth, a novel. Um, I spent about 25 years of my life swinging one of these around. I'm now looking forward to spending probably the next 25 years swinging one of these around. Not that I regret it really. The problem was in my mountaineering career I had uh, a few very nasty accidents and um, suffered some pretty major injuries. In 1985 um, in Peru uh, when the story of Touching the Void took place. I fell and I broke my right leg extremely badly. Um, I sustained a tibial plateau fracture, what's called a Schwarzka 4 tibial plateau fracture of the right knee. Basically my lower leg went through my knee joint. It also severely damaged the cruciate ligaments, it damaged the pineal nerve, it uh, damaged the transverse ligaments, it destroyed the uh, meniscus cartilages and uh, I also actually broke the heel and the ankle of the same leg. Uh, I don't really think I noticed that at the time. The knee was painful enough as it was. Um, I managed to recover from it. Um, I was told initially I'd never bend my leg more than five degrees. I'd never climb again but actually I climbed for another 25 years to a pretty high standard. Um, Unfortunately, in 1991, I was involved in another accident when gear failure meant that Mal Duff fell while we were descending from doing a new route on Pachermo in Nepal, and we fell about 750 feet. And um, the resulting impact um, shattered my right ankle. It basically, um, my tibia and my fibula. Um, sustain what's called a comminuted fracture which is basically they were reduced to sugar there wasn't just a clean break and when I eventually got to hospital in Sheffield their initial um, diagnosis was that they were going to have to fuse the ankle um, fortunately um, it didn't have to happen and I managed to carry on climbing for another 21 years um, but with increasing pain um, I have osteoarthritis in both my knee and my left ankle and I have various other problems related to my leg injuries. And for that reason I stopped mountaineering uh, a few years ago. Um, basically the pain of coming down wasn't worth the enjoyment of going up and uh, I now lead a much more sedentary life. I'm very keen on saltwater fly fishing which actually involves a lot of wading around on difficult ground which can be quite hard work on your legs. Um, playing poker which isn't hard on your legs and I've noticed uh, apart from getting much older and a bit fatter and certainly a lot bolder um, my legs hurt a lot um, I don't regret it this is what comes with staying injuries like this um, and I've never been one for taking supplements really um, I've tried in the past with things like glucosamine and selenium and zinc and all that stuff and frankly I just never got on with it. I just felt the, the way you were taking it just wasn't natural. You weren't going to absorb it in, in, the, in the correct way. Um, I'm certainly very cynical about um, multivitamins. I think you just they just go straight through you like a dose of salt. I think the whole business is a con actually. But So I should set out from the beginning. I'm not uh, super keen on anything like supplements but not so long ago about five six months ago my left ankle um, swelled up got into extremely painful situation for about three weeks quite excruciating actually had no idea what had happened um, they did some initial biopsies and they, they were seriously worried that I had something called septic arthritis which is not something you want um, when they did an exploratory uh, operation on the ankle, um, 
they found basically that uh, well it was screwed um, that was a technical term uh, there was severe degeneration inside the joint from where all the bone fractures had, had worn away the inside of the joint it was a diseased ankle and that's as a result of the osteoarthritis and this isn't going to get any better and I'm going to have to get it fused whether it's soon or later I don't know because it's a, it's a one-way operation but while I was hobbling around on crutches um, I think it was a poker night and a friend of mine said to me that uh, a friend of his father who was very keen on golf in his late 60s was having terrible trouble with his knee and a great deal of pain and he'd been re recommended this stuff called Cherry Active and uh, started taking it and about four to six weeks later he was wandering around a golf course fit, hale and hearty and I was thinking well that sounds pretty good and uh, I contacted Cherry Active and they sent me some and I've been taking it for a couple of months and um, I'm not a scientist, not a doctor, I can't say whether it has scientifically helped me or not but I can say I feel a hell of a lot better for it I can say that a lot of the aches and pains that I was having seem to have certainly lessened it's not going to cure my arthritis it's not going to help my knee or ankle those are fundamental fractures that I'm going to have to live with and really the only way I can deal with this is by trying to stay healthy by eating well I certainly think that a good balanced diet is as good as any supplements um, and by exercise, try to keep strong. If you damage your joint, like your knee or your ankle, keeping it strong, keeping the blood flow, keeping keeping active is probably the best thing to do. But there's no doubt to my mind that Cherry Active is doing something, and uh, I couldn't really recommend it more. Uh, it has an extraordinarily high level of antioxidants, which are very important for um, reducing the effects of free radicals, which are responsible for any number of things from cancer and arthritis and aging the skin aging full stop and uh, in fact some of the oldest people in the world um, have been found to have very very high antioxidant intake something like 6,000 orca I think it's called um, and just a 30 mil dose of geriatric is about 8,000 so um, given my increasing age I'm going to keep taking this stuff I just wish it would increase hair growth as well. There are a number of different ways you can take it. Um, first things first, it tastes fantastic, which is pretty good. Um, this to me is ideal. Just stick it in the fridge, three squirts into a glass, mix it with water, drink it, you're on. Or mix it with orange juice, mix it with lemonade, whatever you want. Um, I quite frequently have fruit and yogurt in the morning and I put a squirt of it on there and you know given that just 30 mil of this is producing that amount of antioxidants it, it's fantastic um, you can also get blueberry which is one of my favorites actually uh, it's very tart both of them are very tart very tasty um, and there is also a beetroot concentrate which I think is helps uh, brain activity which I probably need uh, if you travel a lot which I do uh, you probably realise now that flying is one of the biggest pains that you can do. Um, you have to take your belts off, your shoes off, and hop around having everything searched, and you have to have all your liquids taken off you. And so these are great. They're little 30 mil concentrate shots. They're great if you're travelling abroad for a couple of days, even for a week. Just take seven of them. You don't need to take this. Um, I actually just like sucking on these. They're pretty tart actually, but I quite like that. Uh, you like tart, sharp, sour things. You can take it in capsule form. Um, I haven't taken these, so I don't really know how well they work. To my mind, taking a concentrated juice seems to be the best way of taking anything. Uh, I certainly believe that you absorb it um, far better than you would just taking a vitamin pill. And uh, you can also actually get dried Montmorency trays. They're all taken. All of this stuff is an extract of Montmorency cherries and uh, these are well I'm just addicted to them they're absolutely fantastic um, really sharp tart brilliant um, and when I used to climb one of one of the favorites of the hill foods nibbling along the ice like was dried dried mango and uh, I say if I had these I'd be taking these all the time uh, I can't really recommend them anymore um, 
And I should point out, uh, I've never endorsed this supplement in my life. I'm not paid by Cheriatric, I'm not in their employ. I don't really care whether you take this stuff or not. But if you want to try something that I think is superb, um, have a look at this stuff. Now, if anybody knows how to solve virtual memory problems on your PC, I'd really like to know because I've got a totally screwed up machine here.